people talk about persistence. It's not persistence. Okay, there's a lot of people out there who do the wrong thing very persistently and they get nowhere. It's intelligent, adaptive persistence. Yes, persistence is part of the formula because if you're not there for long enough, skills take time. Okay, um, there's a whole scientific literature about the development of skills and how it, uh, uh, how it's almost like a, an, an electrical wiring in the human body and it occurs over time. Um, but as I said, just doing the wrong thing repetitively isn't going to make you a world champion. So what kind of persistence is required? Well, it has to be adaptive. You have to be able to look at what you're doing and engaging in and assess whether it's working or not. Which parts are working? Which parts are failing? Why are they working? Why are the other parts failing? And make adaptations over time so that you change your training structure in response to success and failure. And this has to be done along intelligently guided routines. And so it's not enough just to say, well, Gordon Ryan's just persistent. He just hung out in the gym long enough and he got good. Okay, no. It's because he's adapted the various things that he's tried through trial and error as time went by and looked for success and failure and paired out the various failures or tried to improve upon them and kept the various successes. And that idea of adaptive persistence is probably the single most important thing. Now, persistence itself is a value-laden term. You used a, a, a term that I, I love and, and it's deeply embedded in martial arts before, Joe. You talked about discipline. Okay, persistence is a more wide-ranging way of talking about discipline. Um, but discipline goes in so many different ways. It's not just about showing up to the gym and showing up to the workout. It's not just about being told to do 300 repetitions and doing all 300. It's also about discipline of thought. Okay, That's the most difficult form of discipline, to stay mentally engaged in the game. When you've been working out all day and you're dog tired and all you want to do is go home and watch a movie, but you don't. And you sit back and ask yourself, what did I do today? Why did I succeed at A and why did I fail at B? And you research and you talk to your, to, to, to your mentors and, and your, your fellow athletes and you puzzle things out and you solve problems. That's the kind of discipline that really comes in. It's more the mental discipline of mental engagement in the project and the ability to say what failed on Tuesday can be modified by this method, this method, and this method, and it can succeed on Wednesday of building cumulative success over time while eliminating failure, of staying in the game, that's persistence, but making it adaptive so that as circumstances change and as the problems you've confronted with change, you're adapting to that change and intelligently directing it by asking yourself these questions. What is making this work and what is making this fail? How can I change this to my advantage? 